Well, we're into our fifth week, I believe, at this mooring now. And uh, despite the fact that we can move, we've still stayed put because uh, Rich is still painting. Oh, we were painting yesterday, I was helping. Rich is painting in the background. But um, I'm off for a little walk and I just uh, thought I'd take you on a little tour of where we've been for the last few weeks and show you our little walk. Dogs are going crazy, but um, I'll show you where we're going. The towpath plants have really changed since we've been here and in the last few days these beautiful irises have just opened up. We've got a lovely bee on one there. We've been walking through here most days and there is a horse field here but um, well there's about three fields of horses the horses aren't in there at the moment um, but it is a public footpath that goes across this field but we're not going that way at the moment dogs think they have balls on the way but Jess Archie come on As you can see, these are elder flowers just about coming into flower now. They're a little bit late, we're quite far north. Down south they're making elderflower champagne already and I'm waited with bated breath as soon as those flowers are out I think we're going to make cordial uh, maybe in a week's time they'll all be ready to go Archie, come on. I really enjoyed walking this path while we've been here. And when we first arrived, it was quite cold and there's so much dead wood and kindling around that we could collect for the fire. It's obviously a really, really ancient footpath. There's cobblestones underneath. And this goes just goes up to a road ahead of us and goes across the old railway line behind. But there's so many really old and varied trees all along the edge of this. And you just wonder who it was made for, who made this path originally, where they were going, taking stuff off to market. Maybe it was to do with building the canal. I don't know, but there are one or two really, really old trees like this oak that um, I just love I just love the feeling of being underneath something as grand and well I don't know what the words are really for something like this how much wildlife is that supporting and every time you come under here the bird song is amazing there's obviously some little creatures living down there it's just just absolutely wonderful Archie come on I'm back 
again on the bridge now, um, boat is that way. I can sit here and watch Rich work. <laughs> but if we come down here in the evenings and stand, the footpath runs underneath the bridge, the towpath. If you stand on there, you're just surrounded by bats. I don't know whether they're roosting under the bridge or up in the high trees here, the old trees, I don't know. No sign, I've had a good look, I can't see anything today. Can't see anything in the crevices under the bridge. But there were so many bats here last night, just flying around your head every couple of seconds. It's quite amazing. And a lovely peaceful spot. <laughs> That's really slushy. <laughs> Make my hair look good after I've had this expensive haircut. We're rolling. <laughs> well, this is the furthest we've been in five weeks. Oh, we're so happy. So I've been so excited today because we knew we were moving. From the minute I got up this morning, I just wanted to get going. It's like a, a kid waiting for their birthday party to start. <laughs> Can't believe five weeks almost, wasn't it? Five, yeah, it's five weeks. Five weeks. Yeah, yeah on one spot apart from getting water that's it yeah so we've uh, just come out of Bollington we've pulled into the wharf to get a pump out and um, fill the tank up with water had discussions with them about uh, fitting the bathroom yep. and the engine room lining etc so uh, we're waiting on news for the cottage sale which is it's very last stages and it, it looks even though we've I've been on hold during lockdown it looks like everyone's still on board and we're just praying within the next couple of weeks it goes through and then we've got a little bit of money to spend on doing the things on the boat that we really with all the best will in the world <laughs> we're not going to get round to doing are we? No way. So uh, no way. that's the plan, that's the plan. And then once we've had those little adjustments done, we're going to have the big discussion on what we do after that. Do we keep the boat? Do we sell the boat? We get a bigger boat? <laughs> we just, uh, well, we've mulled it over with you before. We still mull it over almost on a daily basis, don't we? Yeah. What to do? Yeah, too many choices. That's the problem that we've got. So, but it's fine. We're quite happy. Yeah, we're happy to keep this boat, we'd be happy to have a new boat. I think there's there's two things that really we can't make right on this boat that we would like and that is one with a dinette with um, a side hatch opening from it, which we would love, but there's no way we could get that done. And the other one is the um, proper old-fashioned engine. But apart from that, there's there's no reason to get rid of this boat. We're quite happy with it. So that. That. <laughs> so who knows, if we were to see a boat that had those two things, then we might be tempted to sell up. But in the meantime, I think we'll just be happy to keep this because everything else is perfect, isn't it? Like today is perfect. Yes, you're perfect. I know. And um, <laughs> we, We've had a few comments, why don't you uh, cruise on a wet day? Well, we haven't had a wet day for God knows how long. <laughs> I've had little showers here and there, that's put me off painting. And um, Hang on a minute, I thought <laughs> it was the sunshine that put you off painting. Oh, you yeah, said it was the sun was too bright you couldn't paint. That's true. So, um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, no, if, if it's raining, we don't have to move. We don't move if it's raining. There's nothing more miserable than standing on the back here trying to keep yourself dry. So uh, we don't have to be anywhere at any time, so we don't move when it's raining. That's why a lot of our videos are in sunshine like this. In fact, at the moment, we wish it would rain because this canal still is desperately short of water. And what CRT is saying is if there's no substantial rainfall, this won't be opening anytime soon. And we're waiting for another update this Friday. It's a Friday. To see whether they're going to make any any changes in their decision to keep it locked behind and, and ahead of us. As if they turn around and say we're going to open the locks for a day or two, just so those that need to move can. We're just we're just decided that we're going to get off the canal, aren't we? Rather than be stuck here for uh, the whole summer, 
Well, what a bummer. Do you remember that? It's the Stranglers. Uh, <laughs> I can feel a song coming on. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. And uh, yeah, so if they open up the canal, they open up the locks at either end, we're just going to shoot uh, and get off the canal so we can uh, travel a bit more extensively. sad to leave our mooring this morning actually five weeks so it has been lovely we've had a couple of ducks that come every morning and call for breakfast yeah and uh, I don't know you just get to feel a little bit at home in an area and it was so lovely but so happy to be going somewhere somewhere just traveling again just it's just gorgeous it is so anyway it's coffee time Cheers. So four miles later, we've ended up in Macclesfield. First time we've been right in the centre of a town for a long time. So just uh, spend the night here, do a bit of shopping, and uh, turn around and head back towards Marple. Before we go, sort of show you the uh, painting that I've been doing on the side of the boat. So we've painted the grab rails on this side and also the uh, gunnel all the way along the boat. Looks lovely. But I noticed yesterday when we pulled up, got some touching up to do already. Look. Ugh. So it's the fourth road bridge all over. So anyway, we're gonna have a cup of coffee. Herself is working really hard. I'm watching the plants grow. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>